So this is a moderate socialist team, and to the south we have a nationalist team, led by none other than Guac Boy. So I gotta admit, I haven't been this excited for an AI-only game in quite some time. It seems like it's been months trying to get the Red World mod to work in a scenario like this, but today I finally figured it out, and it really wasn't even that hard. I was just stupid. So here's the big secret. Here's the thing that probably took me way too long to figure out. All I've done is combined Red World and Millennium Chaos. That's it. I obviously really didn't know this would work until I figured out this is basically a sub mod for Millennium Dawn or maybe a total conversion, one or the other. But I guess that's why these two are compatible. So this is an alternative history where the Soviet Union won the Cold War. The US has obviously fallen apart and that's why it looks disgusting. I've also disabled factions because this would be a pretty boring AI game if the communists still had one big ass team controlling like half the world. And I feel like it's more realistic that way. If there was no big threat, I seriously doubt these countries would be able to get along as well as they used to. In terms of Europe, the UK is one of the only non-socialist or communist nations out there, but who knows how long that's gonna last. There goes our first peace treaty. Guatemala has taken the Belizean Republic. Nice, a massive civil war is now breaking out in Libya. Something else to keep in mind is the African continent is really split right now between socialism, communism, nationalism. It's kind of all over the place. We even have a monarchy here in the Central African Empire. Now back in US territory, we have Rick Perry leading Texas, Don Rumsfeld leading the American Republic, Noam Chomsky leading the American People's Commonwealth, and Richard B. Spencer in the Union of Lincoln. Or I, I guess just fucking Idaho. And as you can see, my home state of California hasn't really changed much. So I feel right at home. Oh wait, but that's kind of weird. Why isn't everything on fire right now? Ah, Brazil versus Argentina already, which reminds me, what the hell's going on over here? National conservatism, socialism, liberal, new Democrats. Obviously, Venezuela is doing their thing. Oh, and the best part of this mod is the rightful ruler is leading the Korean Peninsula right now. So we finally don't have to listen to K-pop anymore. Communist Afghanistan is attacking nationalist Pakistan. And I almost forgot, Saddam Hussein is still here in Iraq. He's going to war with Jordan, so I'm sure they'll have to deal with his weapons of mass destruction. Oh, wait, he... he doesn't have any. Jesus, Belgium, every single timeline, you have to take out Luxembourg. Can you just leave him alone for once? Which yes, of course, all of Benny Lux is communist at the moment. Um, not sure exactly where the US is gonna put their embassy now. And there goes Canada, just deciding to kick us while we're already down, declaring war on the Union of American People's Republics. Oh, that's just the West Coast. Okay, that makes more sense. And I just found out they apparently have Alaska under their control. It hasn't even been a full year, and South America is probably the most interesting I think we've ever seen it with three different conflicts going on. And Poland is eating Czechoslovakia. Wow, that's definitely pretty unique. So as you can see, because I removed that big communist faction at the beginning of the video, there's definitely a lot of communist infighting. And I bet you we see at least two teams forming Europe with this ideology fighting amongst each other. Here's a familiar face. Uh, this dude is leading France. He has plans to attack Spain who's a monarchy right now. Vietnam has just declared war on a place that I have never heard of. I'm gonna guess that's Cambodia, or obviously somewhere around there. Oh nice, okay, that was a really lucky guess. Uh, yeah, they're not gonna last very long. And now China is mobilizing just before Pakistan eliminates Afghanistan. Which, damn, they're pretty lucky. They've got this capital like way out here in the corner. They might just be saved somehow by the Chinese. Germany has a nice little tail now, which is sweet, as they kind of hug Poland passionately. I gotta admit, this is my favorite part of this mod. All the different shit happening in North America. The Great Lakes Republic joined the Union of Sovereign Nations. All right. Yeah, and there's already two factions that are formed here. So this is a moderate socialist team, and to the south we have a nationalist team, led by none other than Guac Boy. Guac Boy's back, guys. I don't see why this comrade is under nationalist, though. I think that's gotta change. And there goes the Northeast under the American People's Commonwealth joining the People's Alliance, which makes the third team to form in this continent. Also, Canada, what the hell is going on? Why is Bob Ross winning this war? Don't let him take your happy trees. Yep, there it goes. We totally expected this conflict to happen, which as a result, we have a monarchist faction forming between Spain and Morocco. EU4 is turning in its grave right now. Yeah, so there's a lot of new colors popping up. This might be the most unique, Argentina, and all the way over here, keep going, keep going, Japan. That seems like a smart geographical alliance, but they are both national conservatives. 
So I'm assuming there's really not many of you out there. And now the UK is even gonna come down and beat up on Spain. Oh, and here's the classic battle between the Italian Union and Yugoslavia, which both places happen to have some pretty funny looking leaders. I'm pretty sure this man is a little freaked out about this war. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense because Yugoslavia is in a team with Sudan and the American People's Commonwealth. Oh, and there goes Romania. All right, well, the Soviet Union is about to mess them up. Normally, Turkey versus Iran is a very interesting conflict, but not so much in this world, since the Kurds are here blocking things. It's about time, Mexico. Holy shit. So they've declared war in the Midwest. I've also noticed that Jeb is in a lot of trouble. Come on, Jeb, you're a mess. Angola, how, how did you do this? I've never seen anything like this before. What the hell is going on? Are they like super OP in this world? Let's check. Um, I mean, I guess so. 26 divisions, that's pretty good. Whereas Zimbabwe only has five and Madagascar has four. I don't know what's going on in Indonesia, but I really like this flag or icon here. It looks like they're trying to overcompensate for something they don't have. This seems a little bit weird. I'm not exactly sure why Cuba would have no portrait I'm pretty sure there's at least one guy we all have in mind. I don't know why he's not here though. Damn, this dude might have the most perfectly smooth head I've ever seen. It doesn't even seem natural. Like, I'm not even trying to be weird. Something doesn't feel right about this. The love between these two didn't last very long. Germany has declared war on Poland. They do seem a little bit less excited about communism compared to other Europeans though. Treaty of Atlanta, wow. Something went down in the new world. American People's Commonwealth got a ton of territory. Revolutionary State of America was puppeted. Puerto Rico, Sengal. Yep, it was Chomsky. All right, the Deep South is now under full socialist control. I'm sure they love it. And he made Georgia a puppet for some random reason with this very old man in charge. This might've been one of the greatest mistakes of my life. I, I think about it every single night. I cannot believe I didn't put this chick on the MILF list. Well, there you go, boys. It looks like Christmas has come a little bit early, or should I say, MILF miss. Be gone, son! This might be one of the most unique faction names I've seen so far. Union of World Peace. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Ah, interesting. So it's a centrist faction, which I guess makes sense. Mexico also just formed the Freedom Alliance as they try to destroy that peace union. While Poland forms a team with the UK called the Front for Democratic Supremacy. Sounds a little... Little racist there, guys. What's going on? Surely, surely has lost her damn mind. They're liberal, while obviously Poland's still communist. Greece just eliminated Bulgaria, which that's kind of expected. And Pakistan, by the way, is somehow holding their own. I don't understand, but that's impressive. Mexico, what have you guys done? Oh my god, this looks horrible, guys. I don't want to have to look at this. France is attacking Belgium, and I really don't know who's gonna win this because technically France isn't as powerful since their Spanish war has been going on for so long. This seriously might be the saddest thing I've ever seen. I don't understand how Canada didn't win this. 15 divisions, 10 military factories versus 15 divisions and six military factories. I mean, it's close, but there's still no excuse. All while Richard Spencer just chills in Idaho and I guess Eastern Washington and Oregon and pretty much does nothing. He's also a national Bolshevik, combines elements of radical nationalism and Bolshevism, and sympathetic towards certain forms of socialism. Uh, okay. I did notice this throughout my multiple test runs. Uh, even though all this stuff is happening in the world, Libya never unifies. In fact, Sudan is probably going to be the one that destroys all these revolts. I wonder why this island isn't connected to the rest of Indonesia. Still trying to figure that out. And of course, as always, Australia and New Zealand don't do anything. But you know what? One time, maybe I'll just force a civil war to happen. That way, at least we can see something take place in this region. Now, I definitely want to return to a video like this in the future, just because the Soviet Union focus tree is massive, as well as there could be a nice little cameo at some point from a familiar looking bald man. Oh, well, you know, I guess the same could be said about the American People's Commonwealth because uh, bald or balding men have a lot of cameo opportunities in this mod. Now, as expected, this was only one scenario. I was really thinking that we were gonna see two different communist uprisings because that's what I saw during my first run. It was really only that ideology fighting amongst each other. The only problem using this Millennium Chaos mod with Red World is uh, there does seem to be some stability issues. I must have crashed at least five times throughout this campaign. And at this point, it won't get any further than September. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. 
and I'll see you next time. And of course, big thanks to Neo, Wyone, Destiny Fucker 9000, Jacob W, Random Guy, Jacob Scott, Elfie, Stormblade, Ethan J, Kirby, Humor Demon, Namir, Stefan M, and Furry Cruz for being my crack daddies. If you want to support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you so much for helping, crack boy.